So my name is Ashley Baldridge. I am a research benthic ecologist here at Glero, which means that I study what lives on the bottom of the lakes and how what lives at the bottom affects the rest of the lake and how they are affected by the lake themselves. Dreissenden mussels, this, this is a genus of, of mussels that are native in the Ponto Caspian area. They were introduced over to the Great Lakes by ballast water and after being introduced to the Great Lakes, we've seen a lot of secondary spread throughout North America. The effect of Dreissenden mussels is because they are such uh, effective filter feeders that they are removing a lot of the phytoplankton or small plants out of the water. And by doing this, they're reducing the amount of food available for zooplankton and potentially for fish as well. In the field, we do annual surveys in southern Lake Michigan, which we actually have here. From Muskegon to Milwaukee and down, we do that every year. Um, the benthic survey is using a ponar grab, which is a large claw that goes down to the bottom and grabs a sediment. Uh, back in the lab, we pick out the mussels and other um, benthic organisms of interest. We measure them, and from that we get their density and biomass. An uh, average day is spending a lot of time at the computer, but I also get to mix in um, time in the lab overseeing the processing of the benthic samples, doing species identification and measurements, and then we also have a few experiments that we're starting up here that are to look for muscle growth under controlled conditions. I'd like to see the research um, continue on, um, keeping the records going in Lake Michigan because we have such a good continuous record of data in Lake Michigan, but then get more involved myself into Lake Huron, potentially Lake Ontario, and uh, then because these cross-system comparisons are very important for especially seeing how the mussels are affecting the lakes. Um, well, right now we're seeing some evidence that the mussels have maybe reached their peaks and their uh, peak numbers and peak biomass. And so it's very important that we keep tracking to see if their muscle, the muscle numbers will decrease and then how the ecosystem is going to respond to it. But I think uh, in the future, I just hope we've learned from the extreme impacts we've had from uh, Dracaenid mussels and other invaders, how important it is to prevent the introduction of these species from the beginning because they have such um, far-reaching and profound impacts on the lakes.